Um, yeah, actually. How could you tell? Money. Uh, might as well fight the boss before going to that curse room. Larry Jr. Larry Jr. Why did I say Larry? I'm not British. I am not Total Biscuit. Yeah, this is, like, the most obvious giveaway that it's made by the same people because it's Larry. The reason I'm tiny, if you're wondering, is the Liberty Cap item will give me a random effect of one of the mushroom items, one of which- Wow! Two spirit hearts? Are you kidding? <laughs> Chariot, uh, goat hoof, I prefer Liberty Cap. Pills are always good. Oh, wow! Really? Kamikaze fly. Alright, I was gonna lose a half heart and a um, bomb anyway to get in there, so. Alright, that was a great first floor. Uh, I'm gonna take the chariot with me and head down to the next floor. Are you kidding? I need a bomb. Alright. Item is right there. Also, I like the attention to detail that usually only indie games give. No, I'm crying on my enemies, actually. I'm not even joking. Ghost baby. Could be worse. I'd much prefer Gish, but... Hey. Might as well go in here. If you're wondering, yes. The arcade theme is an 8-bit version of the war of this war's theme. Alright, so uh, star six. Alright, judgment. Give me health, then I get more. Ah! I was stupid. I get more money. Bomb. Yeah, soundtrack is by Dan B, so... Who also did the, the Super Game Boy soundtrack, now I think about it. <laughs> An eternal heart, really? <laughs> Kane confirmed for OP. <laughs> if you're wondering, that eternal heart is an item where... If you go down to the next floor while you still have it, um, you lose it before a red. Or I can just get the health upgrade now. If you go down to the next floor, you have in the turtle. Yes! That's 
Nuts and Bolts was not that bad. It was different, but it wasn't bad. It was really fun. If you want to talk about bad games, well, there's always you know, the GBA game. What am I doing? I can just get a bomb in the shop. Probably. I was playing- I was trying to get a bomb so I could open this tinted rock in that chest. Yep. And... might as well. Mom's purse lets me hold two trinket items, like the Liberty Cap. Pills, might as well. Nope, nothing. Uh... Well, I mean... well, that's true. I enjoyed adventuring around the, the world in nuts and bolts. I mean, it was easy, really, really easy, but it was still fun. Monstro, blah. I'm playing in a window. I wish I had two monitors, or room on my desk for two monitors. Like, I wish that the levels, like, some of the acts were compressed. That's my only real complaint with Nuts and Bolts. Um, I'll take the Book of Belial, but, uh, is it really worth it? Nah, I'll leave Spirit of the Night. There has to be some level of challenge left in the game. I mean, seriously, I'm king for one. I like the N64 games and Nuts and Bolts. I didn't care for Grunty's Revenge. In the slightest. No reason not to go to the any locked room. So I want to head upward. Oh, I might as well use a while, actually. Ugh, Metars! I never actually played Bad Fur Day. All I really know about it is that it was almost literally made for Nintendo Capri Sun to play. Crack the sky. Interesting. Might as well take. No, I don't want more red hearts. I'll stick with the book of the wild. Uh, which room? Ah! Alright, now 
you bomb up no bomb up here no up here These rocks. Forget it. <sighs> Secret room was three cents. I paid nothing to go in, so why not? My 64 experiences were a lot of games, but one, two of them. Three of them were games everyone hates for some reason. Quest 64 and the Chameleon Twist games. Now I feel like an idiot for taking the um, Lyle. And I can't buy that. So, Quest 64 was an RPG for, of course, the 64, where the main mechanics were most of your stats went up through usage, like if you ran around a lot, you got higher agility, or if you took a lot of hits, you got higher defense. Oh, oh so bad. Oh. Anyway, and instead of just leveling up, like, your stats, um, you would level up your elements. Water, earth, fire, and air. And certain combinations, like, once you reach certain numbers in the co in combinations of magic, you would get better spells, like a lot of water with and wind. Water and wind tends to give you healing spells. Ah! It, like... You could say it's kind of a guide game, I guess, but... Like, for your character build, but, you know... I really liked it. Everyone's like, oh, it was terrible, such a bad game. But they never give a reason why it was bad. Like, it was hard. That's all I can think of. Like, I never actually... Like, there was only one time that I actually beat the first boss. So... Not even a single second. Oh well. Game. Yeah, the kind of people that kept Mario... Kept the real Mario 2 being... Well, the Mario 2 that the U.S. got. Casual scum. Ah, that was... Oh god, I'm blo I blew up judgment. I'm an idiot. 
I was really banking on him giving me an HP up for that raid. Ah! Secret room. But then again, it's only hard if you play too aggressively, like I tend to. It's the only reason I can't beat subterranean animism. Ah! Shut up, people. And really? If you think about it, bullet hole games are more about looking good. But not in a gritty, realistic fashion. Uh, hey, dude. The cat guy. Come on, Epic Cat Guy. Okay, you can die now. Cursed skull, no thank you. Heels here. Tears up, nice. Tears up, nice. One of those was actually a tears down, but because I'm Kane, it got converted. Oh, come on! All of the bombs and none of the keys. It's my favorite rap song, you know. That's kind of the point of streaming, just so, you know, I can talk to people about games and stuff while playing a game I really need to advance in because I lost my 100% save file. <laughs> uh, yeah, die Globins. No keys, so I can't go to the shop, or the item room, or that golden chest. Ugh. That bombs a- or- uh, I hate that bombs are key pill now. Ugh. Mega Man and Smash Bros. 4. I can summarize that up with- Ah, oh, yes, yes! Finally! Alright. Right side, my damage is through the roof. Uh, let's see here. HP up. Please don't kill me. Yes. Because I'm thinking he might show up as a cameo in the Wily Fortress stage. More than anything. Curse of the Labyrinth. Well, big floor ahead of us, and it's a, a, one of the most, the most difficult floors in the game. Ah! I mean, I'm pretty sure that they're going to have the Yellow Devil as a boss in Adventure Mode, because they showed him. PhD, that's kind of redundant. Uh. 
Well, yeah, like, <laughs> Wily would be extremely overpowered because he'd have to be in a Wily machine. Because, clearly, um, it hasn't been patched yet. There is a glitch with the PhD and Spirit Hearts. I think you're thinking of, um, Scapular. PhD just gives you who, who only good kills, which Kane's Lucky Foot already does. I never heard about that glitch. They don't go dislike smoke. I don't understand why they never even mentioned again was Dr. Kossack from McMahon 4. You know, the Russian god. This is really nerve-wracking. Ah! Spider rooms are not good. Spider rooms are not good. Spider rooms are not good. Ah! Yes, game, I clearly need more mobs. Oh god! Kill the walker, Pimples, kill the walker. Ah! That was only 20 minutes. Uh. Let's try the Spider Boy challenge. Because why not? B. That's the bird, right? bird who does absolutely nothing except in the Wonder Swan version of, or was it the, no, the Neo Geo Pocket version of Mega Man the Power Battle. Someone act on Newgrounds actually made a horizontal shmup in the style of Hiko, Hiko, Hiko Ta Hop, or whatever it is, the horizontal scrolling one, where you're playing as Eddie. Which is interesting. There are a lot of interesting Mega Man fan games out there. Hey, at least Eddie gives you useful stuff. He just saves you from falling into a pit just in time for you to... It only takes you high enough that you end up falling back into the pit. The Hanged Man, Flat Penny... Might as well explore the whole floor, I mean... That's why I should explore the whole floor! <laughs> Can die. Well, hey, I mean, they did make Rockman R where you're playing this role. Oh, 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 oh I want that look at that. <laughs> Game! There's only one penny in that room down there. secret room to save my life. Are you joking? Please be this one. No! Well, like I said, there is a Horizontally scrolling bullet hell game someone made where you're playing Eddie. Do 
Um, I've heard of them, I haven't listened to their stuff. I listen to the Megas, who are like a much less, apparently, dark sort of quote, quote storyline. And also incredibly catchy. Hang on one second, need to readjust because Skype. I mean, they have done, like, um, concerts together. So apparently their singer isn't as good as the Megas. Because a lot of people on the Megas stuff are like... It's funny, one of the guys essentially wrote the top and one in their Mega Man 4 or 3, whichever, pseudo Let's Play. <laughs> because they went, look at him, he's dancing. Yeah, like, I like how the Megas just kind of give them silly personalities. Well, well, I mean, like, that's the whole point of the Megas music. I hate you. Two bombs. Let's play that so we have a. <laughs> Let's see, Wily's. It was only Wily's machines. It was Light's machines in one and three, so and nine, so. No, not even six. He took over, so that's only twenty-one. It's only like 35, unless you count base and treble. Because 1 in 3, it's lights robots. And 9. 6, it's um just random contestants in the Robot World Tournament. Well, wait, was... I can't remember if 3 was Wily's. I'll have to look up their serial numbers to see if they're like a little wily So they essentially have two bars. They are the most accepting robots. I don't even know where I'm going with this joke. <laughs> the shipping, the shipping. 
Also, have you noticed that the only female robots in this series are, um, light machines? Well, yeah, robots, not reptiloids. Range down, you know, I really wanted that. Who is a light machine? Splash Woman, who is a light machine. In Legends, I can't tell if they are, if Megman is a robot or what. Like, I haven't really played the Legends games much, but from what I've heard, it's really confusing what he is. <sighs> Wait, Tron is a robot? I thought she just sat in a mech. Reminds me of a joke I saw in the comments of Mega Man Legends Let's Play. Um, my name is Sundere and I'm a Tron. Alright. The reason I'm taking out the blue one second is because if you do that, then you actually get the reward as if you were fighting the blue one at the start. So, chance of an attack fly instead of- Ah! Well... No, they're not robots in ZX. Um... They're, if anything, cyborgs because they're taking the biometals into their system. Wily does not have good luck with the the free will robots. Let's just look at Mega Man. Um, Reploids are basically more powerful robots considering in the Mega Man universe all robots are humanoid except for certain work robots like Met. So, how about that Sony E3 conference? Oh, I forgot I didn't even fight the boss yet! <laughs> Microsoft's was awful. I'll just say this. If I have to get a next-gen console, because I count Wii U as more current-gen, it'll be PS4. You know, something I like about Danny B, the guy who did the music for this game, he doesn't care that people uploaded the music to YouTube. Like, he comments on it. The, the X-Bone. <laughs> oh, it's not always online, you just have to be online. I mean, every, once every 24 hours. That's the same thing! While I agree that, okay, if you, your internet out is you have bigger problems than what you're going to do about it, like 
while it's out. Really? You don't punish people for not having internet. Aha! The only upgraded boss that's potentially easier than the uh, original boss. Except for the leaping spiders. Ow. Ah! That's a lot of this game in the, in the nutshell. Ah! I am not succeeding with this run. All I can say is Fable Whole One HD. Ah! Yes! I really prefer Child's Heart now. Ah! Ah! Headless Horseman? Or rather, Horseless Horseman? Ah! I'm good at this game, guys! <laughs> I'm good at this game! Let's get out of this floor! Oh, come on, of course it's another necropolis floor. <laughs> JonTron is good. I don't really like Ego Raptor. Like, if JonTron started a solo Let's Play channel, I'd probably watch that. For once, have mercy on me. Yeah, I like John Tron's review style. That he that's a very big positive for him. How about I stream some Reseteer? That sounds good, right? Yeah, I'll be right back and I will do some Reseteer next. <laughs> 